Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. I live out on my 1998 Jeep Cherokee XJ. This feels right. This feels like an end destination. I mean, there's no destination, but if this was the last stop on our beautiful West Jeep life adventure, that would be okay. I feel like I've just returned Yuki home to her prehistoric land. Like legit, this area is very dinosaur-y. But oh my goodness, I have this whole beach to myself. I'm gonna miss this. It's not over. Of course it's not over. But the west end of it is coming to a close and I'm not ready. It is windy. Hopefully the wind dies down soon. I really need to repair this crack. <laughs> I was driving and something just flew from the sky and hit my windshield and made a big crack. I looked it up to get it fixed. You know, it'd be like $170 and I don't have time. That's safe flight. So I'm gonna do it myself. Don't come at me in comments and don't tell me what to do. But guys, let me tell you, this trip has been amazing. Are you gonna stay put for me there? Not just the adventure of it, not even just the inward growth that I've experienced. It's everything. It's changed my perspective and it's given me better habits that I hope to keep with me. We're not done adventuring. We're just gonna try Eastern adventures now. But before any of that, before the very, 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 very long drive eastward, we're gonna enjoy this paradise. I'm very grateful today for a lot of things. And yeah, I just, I feel really privileged. I feel really grateful that I've gotten to do this and that I continue to get to do this. It sounds like some sort of end closing, but it's not. Like, it's just that I have to drive back east now. really gonna miss all of this out here is the solitude because in the east it's not as easy to find such vast amounts of land completely barren of people and it's so lovely to be able to find that out here I have a tentative plan but I don't really want to say it because it might not happen the way I want it to I'm gonna just kind of let you guys know I guess what I kind of want to do I want to drive back and hit you know North Carolina Virginia some those eastern states over there while it's nice and warm but I really want to focus on trying to get a new vehicle and set up and I know this is gonna be really hard um, but it has to happen sooner or later we know this like Yuki is doing great. I know she's not gonna last forever though and I need something a bit a little bit bigger where I can stand up in where it's more sustainable I can do it longer term and then once I have that around and I'm finished exploring on the east I'm gonna hopefully come back out here and really go hard in on it and just get everything I really need and do this the right way. It's gonna be even more of a learning experience this, this whole thing I've I've learned so much. Just take one moment to view today's sponsorship. I'm so grateful for sponsors because they enabled me to do this. Today's sponsor is Aura. Basically, Aura is an app that helps you secure your data. Data brokers will sell your information to spammers, scammers, just 
whoever buys, they have all that information on you. If you even just do a quick Google search on your name or family member names or whatever, I'm gonna do a quick Google search on my mom, for example. Her complete name pops up and her address, her age, it shows all of her email addresses and it even has my email address in there. It shows all her previous addresses, all her relatives. Oh my gosh, I've never looked this up before. In any case, your data is just out there floating about, obviously. So that's why I've been using Aura. It shows which data brokers are selling your information and then it submits opt-out requests for me on my behalf. I don't know if you saw, but AT&T revealed that over 73 million customers and former customers' records were leaked into the dark web. They recommended those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from credit bureaus. But the thing is, is that Aura does all that for me. So with today's digital age, I really value my privacy and, you, and I hope you do as well. So that being said, you can go to aura.com slash Victoria Rose. The link is also in the description and you can start a two week trial and try it out for yourself. Thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring this video and helping protect my data. I know it's not something that you like to think about, but it is something we have to think about now. Let's get back into this video. So as I think of things that I've learned, I'd like to share them with you. I think we'll start off with a big thing that I've learned is that when you're living in a smaller space, you become a smaller and a bigger person. Every time I go out, I always like get smaller and more in shape because I feel like I, I need to take up less space. I'm, I'm healthy. When you're always all alone to make better choices when it comes to food and things like that, solitude brings that. And as a, as like a bigger person, I feel like my the view of everything has expanded. Like I feel more part of the world instead of just my home. I feel more in tune with nature. Another thing that has been huge in this journey, and it sounds weird, but the smallest changes can elicit the biggest changes in your life. For the past, I'd say half a year or so, has been me choosing to intentionally walk more. Instead of weightlifting and things, I'm doing lower impact exercising as walking and appreciating and hiking. And that has changed so much in my life. It's changed so much. It makes me more present. It makes me fitter. It makes me calmer. And it makes me able to be able to walk longer distances now. I used to hate walking. Kind of replacing that with like weightlifting and very masculine domineering type of things I'm not really interested in anymore. That's not the to that's not to do with walking. That's to do with a lot of things in my life where I've been coming more into like a, a calmer feminine side um, but I've learned that too. Yeah as I think of things throughout this this video you can comment below what you've learned this year as well. Um, I think if you're not learning and growing then you're just stagnant and you don't you feel more alive if you try. I have spent two amazing, relaxing, people-free days here. This is probably the first place in this whole trip where there has not been another single soul and it's just been me like this. Like, this is my favorite place because of that fact and because it's so pretty and because I can park next to the water and the water is crisp. Like I've been bathing in it and doing cold plunges and it just so, it feels so good and healing. It makes, it's made me very happy. and. Like I said, I'm sad to move on, but it is time. You know, I can only stay here for so long away from the world. It's time to go back into society and go back on the highway. Cause now we're going into Wyoming. I forgot before we leave, I have to fix this windshield. <laughs> let that cure and see if that works. If it doesn't, I'm not too fussed. It's not in my line of sight and I really don't believe it's gonna spread, but even just putting a little bit of resin in it, I think will help since I'm looking to get a new vehicle anyways. She'll definitely last at least the trip home, I'm hoping. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just herding cows. Welcome to Wyoming. What a difference already. <laughs> it's very different than the desert. We're getting out of it quickly. Another thing that I have learned is don't have FOMO. 
don't have fear of missing out. You're not. Like, there's always going to be an opportunity to go to the places that you see, you know. And if you don't get there and you go somewhere else, it's okay. I'm saying for me personally, like people saying they hate where they live or where they live is not beautiful and things like that. I don't think that's a good mindset to have. And that's something that I've been trying to work on in myself too. There's been so many places I haven't gone to in this trip that I really wanted to, but I'm like, you know what? I'll get there next time. Or it's okay. I, f I saw all these other beautiful places. It's okay. It's all, it's all in your head. How happy you are with your experiences. Another thing I've learned is to treat yourself to little things. If that means getting coffee and getting any little pastry or banana bread or something along with that, then great. Um, I don't think deprivation is a good way for people to sustain any healthy type of lifestyle. You can count your calories the rest of the day, but like make sure you're treating yourself and not making your feel you feel like you're depriving yourself. And do things slow and steady instead of abruptly cutting things off. People just don't work that way. If you want to make a change, it starts kind of slow sometimes and gradually. I learned so much about so many random, really small towns and ghost towns that I never would have known or figured out before. And just visiting lots of little towns in between. Random. <laughs> and of course it's a given. I've learned a ton more about Yuki, Jeeps, vehicles. Like how to repair a windshield crack for present. <laughs> Safe zone. I mean, it's my camp spot for the night in the beautiful Wyoming. It's right near the water. There's grass, you know. I haven't experienced grass for a while, and it's making me kind of excited to get back east. So I'm going to sleep here tonight. I'm tired. I did a lot of driving today. Tomorrow, we're going to go to a Wyoming hot spring, and we're going to go to a waterfall. And I'm gonna to try to find the beauty in the Midwest because I have a strong aversion to the Midwest. So let's, I'm gonna show you some beauty in the Midwest. The definition of I, only the physical world, is real. The habit of I masks your true self. You're not an isolated mind enclosed in a physical body. I'm really a fan of the lack of doors, but this is not completely free. Another thing I learned on the road is to how to change without any exposure. Because <laughs> I do a lot of changing in my jeep. in the most beautiful way possible. If that can be beautiful. These baby chipbooks are very curious and they keep coming up to me. Hi. You curious? Hi. Another thing I've learned is how to be alone and be content and happy and at peace. But on the flip side, I've also learned how important community is and how you shouldn't always be alone. And people are important, which is why I'm so excited to go home for my birthday and see my family.
funniest library I've ever seen, but another thing I've learned... <laughs> I hope you like my lessons, like, if you don't, well, too bad. <laughs> I've learned how to scavenge for Wi-Fi wherever I am. And libraries, I find, are pretty reliable in that sense. Community centers, I don't really like to go to community centers as much, or which establishments have the fastest Wi-Fi. Which generally, McDonald's has topped the list, not even Starbucks. Anyways, I'm going to look up directions now that I have some Wi-Fi from this library that's not open, apparently. Good morning. I am in an actual apartment. I am in Cheyenne, Wyoming. I think that's how you say it. I could be saying it wrong because I usually do say things wrong, but it's very strange. Like I'm downtown in this apartment that's very, um, very his like historical type of, you know, there's not a lot of insulation from the noise outside. It's very, it's cool. I'll show you around a little bit. I'm going to go in right next door. There's this nice aroma therapy and tea place. So I'm gonna go treat myself to some tea. Usually um, I'll get like a hotel or something so I can edit and upload a video once a week. Um, but I've been doing more Airbnbs if they're on the cheaper side and it's been really nice. I did a lot of driving and I'm not trying to rush this trip back home, but we're making pretty good progress already. So this has kind of been my Wyoming adventure. So let me tell you what the next video is gonna be about or what I'm gonna to try to do because I might not achieve this. I don't like to drive more than five hours a day. Tomorrow I'm gonna to try to drive over seven hours so I can make it to the smallest town in America. The reason that I have to book it there because the tavern there, the one tavern, and they're not open except for tomorrow. So you know, it wouldn't be a good visitation or proper representation of this small town of population one if it wasn't able to go into the an establishment tomorrow. Nebraska is the, the worst state to drive across. It's so long and so boring. And even if we get there and we can't go into the place, at least I have showed you, but that is my mission. For the moment though, to finish off this video, we're gonna just gonna have some tea. I don't know, I don't, I don't do inside videos anymore. I don't even know what to do in this apartment. <laughs> I've learned that to appreciate one thing, you have to be deprived of it. Whenever I do get a hotel or Airbnb or whatever, I'm so grateful and I'm so ecstatic for the shower or for to sleep in a bed or this and that. It makes me so much more grateful and more happy. Don't have the good without the bad. So don't be so sad about the bad things because you don't know what kind of good they can produce or what kind of gratefulness they can produce in you. I'm going to end this video here. Tomorrow we're going to go on our stressful journey. To, let's not call it stressful, it's our adventure. Thank you so much for joining me on this video of what I've learned. I've learned so much more. I don't even know what all I've said in this video because I just said it as it comes to my head. The last thing that I've really learned is that I really cherish my YouTube community. You guys have been with me throughout so many things in my life. Stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you tomorrow next week or whenever in the next video. Bye.